So do you think there's a difference between Twitter's definition of free speech and Elon's definition of free speech? Twitter does not believe in free speech. Elon believes in free speech. What do your colleagues say about it? Like, they hate it. Some of my colleagues are like super left, 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 left. You know, jobs are at stake. He's a capitalist. If we weren't really operating the capitalist more, you know, it's very socialist. Like, we're all like communists. I basically went and worked like four hours a week last quarter. Mm -hmm. That's just how it works mm -hmm. in our company. But Twitter is like it's mental like health and everything. Like if you're not feeling it, you can take a few days off. People take a month off. And I don't know the two parties can truly coexist on one platform. Do you think there's a difference between Twitter's definition of free speech and Elon's definition of free speech? Twitter does not believe in free speech. Yeah. What do you Elon mean? believes in free speech. How does Twitter not believe in free speech? Because Twitter wants to censor bullying and harassment. And the idea of free speech is that you can bully and harass people. Um, and Twitter does not believe in this value as a platform because it's not conducive to a business. If you want to run a business, like even Facebook or Instagram, they don't want people bullying and harassing, like, or, even, or even YouTube. They straight up, any toxic behavior, they're like, nope, we can't have it. For example, like, if you bully a pensioner, the right, the right thinks it's okay, the left does not. Ideologically, uh, it does not make sense, like, because we're actually censoring the right, not the left. So if everyone on the right wing will be like, bro, it's okay to say, just gotta tolerate it. Uh, the left be like, no, I'm not going to tolerate it. I need a censor. Or else I'm not going to be in touch now. So it does sound right. It's true. There is a bias. But it is what it is today. Yeah. Why? They're both losing followers because the left is leaving and the right is coming back on the platform. The right that kind of denounced the platform, uh, they were like, hey, you know what, we're going to come back because Elon's coming in. Uh, and uh, they're basically, Elon's a new Trump uh, because they had a leader. Um, they feel more confident because how do people join platforms? They join because um, they want to look up to a leader who will protect them and give them safety. They didn't feel safe in the platform at that point, but now they feel safer now that Elon's there. What about us? Well, we'll feel less safer. It's just like a spectrum. Like, I feel like when I don't know the two parties can truly coexist on one platform. It was not correct to ban Donald Trump. I think that was that was a mistake um, because it uh, it alienated a large part of the country and did not ultimately result in Donald Trump not having a voice. He is now going to be on Truth Social, um, as will uh, a large part of the sort of the the right in the in the United States um, and so I think this could end up being frankly worse than having a single you know a single forum where everyone can debate what do your colleagues say about it? like they hate it oh my god I'm at least like okay with it but some of my colleagues are like super left 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 what do they say? Uh, they're, they're like, this will be my last day if it happens. So. Has much changed since, like, Elon's coming out? A lot of change. A lot has changed. Like, our, we're stress eating a lot. Like, we're all, like, worried for our job. Why are you guys so worried, though? You know, jobs are at stake. He's a capitalist. If we weren't really operating like capitalists more, you know, like, very socialist. Like, we're all, like, communist. Like, I know, I still think the that I should <laughs> I think it's just like the environment, like you, you're there, and you become like this, and calm, you don't know this, they call it calm for you for reality. Elon makes some good points, sometimes, I'm slowly starting to buy his side a little bit. We tried our best. But How so? We, I mean, we, we did all we could to like revolt against it. A lot of employees voted against it, but at the end of the day, board of directors have a say, and then they acted 
on their best interests because they don't want to get sued because if they get sued their families are sick they're always looking out for themselves at the end of the day right um, and they looked out for themselves as they should their families and they, they made the choice that they had to make they, they, they literally couldn't make any other choice because if they had denied the offer from Elon um, shareholders could have filed a lawsuit against them and depleted them of their wealth personally like whatever they felt they had so their quality of life decreases I basically went and worked like four hours a week the last quarter. That's just how it works mm -hmm. in our company. Yeah. Um, but I start putting in more hours because uh, I want to get promoted. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel like because of inflation, my buying power has like reduced a little bit. Um, and I want to get promoted so that like they, they inflate your salary a little bit. Like, sorry, like they increase the salary by a lot when you get promoted. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, sure, let me just fight for it right now. How would you describe communism inside Twitter? Not just like a, a phrase, but essentially, like, everyone gets to do whatever they want. No one really cares about, like, OPEX, uh, like, capitalism, yeah, they care about numbers, they yeah. care about, like, how to make the business more efficient. But in Twitter, it's like, mental health is everything. Like, if you're not feeling it, you can take a few days off. If you're taking months off, they'll come back. But you always, like, like do your best at any time. And that's the culture. And, you know, we'll run the business as much as possible. But at the same time, you know, like, the profits were in a lot. Capitalists would be like, you gotta generate profits while you're out. Uh, a lot of people look at survival. A lot of companies don't call it.